the hotel tax fund in uh, hopes of covering the cost of our 200 or 2015 guidebook, community guidebook that uh, runs through the end of this year, as well as uh, costs associated with setting up our new office space, right? Uh, the first item you'll see is the cost associated with the book. Uh, you'll see the first uh, attachment that I provided for you was an invoice from ColorTech. We uh, bumped up our guide publication this year to, or I'm sorry, this half of the year to 50,000. Uh, previously, we were printing between 35 and 40,000, depending on the season. Uh, we feel that now with our board and myself in place, we can really get out more of those books throughout the Lebanon Valley and our state and region. Uh, so our cost did go up a bit for print, and we also were able to include four more pages of information, and we were fairly successful in selling ads in the little bit of time that we had. So we, we bumped up to a 40-page publication. Did you bring any books along? No, I'm sorry, I didn't. I uh, had them all set up to go into our uh, rack downstairs that I was informed we would be able to do, and I was planning to bring some up afterwards. List is uh, just that our board will be putting out will be 12,000 publications locally, and we've already added a handful of businesses on top of that. So I would anticipate that uh, between myself and the board of directors that we'll be able to hand deliver 15,000 publications, which I think is uh, I find to be very very impressive. And the best thing about that is that we'll be able to make the face-to-face -face contact with all of these businesses in the community, let them know who we are, what we're doing, and that we're really excited to partner with them to showcase all that we have to offer here. That was getaways on display. That's, it. Thank you. That's what it is. You know what, and I had the same trouble you did. Yeah. Uh, and that was a $4,800 cost. Now, that, that service allows us to uh, put our community guidebooks uh, along visitor centers, uh, throughout the region, we selected what areas we thought would be best uh, received by visitors in that area, along the Turnpike and, and Pittsburgh area, northeast, and of course down by Philadelphia. Uh, it, uh, the contract runs through December, and uh, we will probably run out of the guidebooks within a month and a half. I spoke with the woman from Getaways on Display, and that just goes to show you um, how much people are picking up our books, which I think is a fairly impressive thing. Uh, that we, we can get 50,000 books out so quickly. Uh, the, the second invoice that I have for you here is from Beckley to Advertising, and he did design uh, some of the imagery. Uh, we did trade him in order to lower our cost. We traded them a half-page ad, which uh, brought the invoice total to $935.08. Our uh, second item that I'm requesting funding for will be cost associated with setting up the new office space. These are just soft numbers. Uh, we have not gone shopping yet, and we are hoping to be fairly frugal. We want to do a nice job in setting up our office, but we do plan on first going to secondhand furniture stores and things of that nature. And uh, in keeping with the look of our new office space, which will be at 31 South 8th Street, uh, we're hoping we can uh, set up a nice space for visitors and our community alike. I guess I do have a question about the booklet. I had emailed my question and didn't receive a response, or I would have been able to, you know, clear this up outside of a meeting. But you contacted me on um, March 25th to use some information that I put together, and um, the information was used. And I guess my question is, why would it be used without? accreditation or why would it not be you I mean why wasn't it pulled if you didn't feel comfortable giving accreditation to it wouldn't it have been better that way uh, well I apologize I didn't answer your email it was about 12 hours ago that I received that um, the fact of the matter is that uh, I emailed you requesting to use the information you emailed me back uh, stating that it was very kindly that it was free for the community to use and I did circle back with you asking, how shall I credit it? But I did not receive any response uh, to which. I, I have a copy of this response. I sent a PDF that had the accreditation in it. OK, well, I apologize, and I did not receive that. Um, if you could forward that to me, I would appreciate seeing that. It's done. But I think it was in poor taste. And um, I think that people, it, I don't want it to happen to anybody else. 
If you use people's information, either use it or don't, but if you do use it, give them credit. Um, with all due respect, and I, I certainly don't mean to open a can of worms, but it was a listing of businesses from, I think it was from 2008 or 2012. 12. We had to make quite a number of adjustments to it, and it was an excellent idea, and I was glad that you let me springboard off of that, but I certainly was not my intention to slight anybody, uh, given the three weeks that I was given to put this book together. I think our team did our very best. I think you, I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the numbers that you're putting out. Uh, everything is good, but again, I'm more concerned about a, that it doesn't become a pattern that if people submit information um, and credit is offered, then they should be also given it. And I agree with that. Thank you. Lebanon Farmers Market. Yes, it is. It's the uh, location adjacent to the Lebanon Farmers Market, so not only will we have access uh, to customers within the market itself, but also through the street. We hope to be set up in early June. Of course, we'll be open when the market is open, by and large. Uh, we'll, we'll really have to go and maybe do a little bit of research to see when, when we do get the most foot traffic and what makes sense for us to be staffed. Uh, I'm not sure that we'll get visitors at 7 o'clock at night, but we'll, we'll uh, feel that out over the summer months, and, and uh, as soon as I know what our office hours are, I'll let you know. I think our board felt that it was a central location. It's the county seat of the county, obviously, and uh, not only is it easy access to our own residents, which I want to have a very strong relationship with, uh, but I do think that the farmer's market is somewhere that people will go routinely. Uh, well, I'm sorry, when they're visiting our area, our, our farmer's market is very well known. I, we hope to increase that uh, knowledge of it, and I think it's a very uh, iconic symbol of Lebanon, uh, our past and our future. important to note that uh, there's a, a move even, and they mentioned this, so I'm not going uh, to, to even move the city offices downtown. Eventually, we will be putting a number of kiosks at different locations around the county to meet that actual visitor information need. So. Uh, the grand total was $31,257.38. And that's for the guidebook and the startup? Yes, the bulk of it is for the, the community guide. Any other questions, Commissioner? No, sir, except that I would like to say that a booklet should have been brought along and or given to us in advance. I happened upon it last night and that's not the way for me to find things out like that. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve the uh, transfer of uh, funds from the, ho the uh, hotel tax account? I move to approve. Second it. All right, it's been moved and seconded to uh, transfer funds uh, to the Lebanon Valley DMO. Uh, from the reserve account. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Was that an abstention? Yes. Okay. Do we know that Commissioner Litz abstains from voting? <laughs>